Hi, my name is Dylan Stinson and I'm a product manager for Tektronix. Today we're going to be doing a simple automated bandwidth measurement on a bandpass filter. And the bandpass filter is specified to perform between 1.5 and 1.62 gigahertz. Let's see if it matches up to spec. For this measurement, I've gone ahead and calibrated the VNA up to both sides of the DUT, here and here. Now let's look at VectorView PC to see what it takes to make an automated bandwidth measurement. We can see that the software defaults to an S11 measurement, but we want to look at the S21 measurement. So to do that, click Measure and S21. Let's go ahead and zoom the frequency range in to see our band pass of the filter. So click Start. Let's do 850 megahertz as our start. And then as a stop, let's go ahead and choose 2.4 gigahertz. Now, to make an automated bandwidth measurement, you need a marker in the band pass of a filter. So to do that, click Setup, Marker 1, and there's our marker. And click Search and Bandwidth, and our automated bandwidth measurement appears. As you can see, it shows the bandwidth, the center frequency, the low frequency, the high frequency, the Q value, and our automated bandwidth loss value. Now, as you can see, it automatically prints this out, easy for you to view. And it's showing that the low frequency is 1.4 gigahertz, and the high is 1.8. So overall, the filter itself is actually performing better than as it's specified. To adjust the loss value, you can go into more and bandwidth value and we can even adjust it to 5 dB. So now I've shown you how easy it is to make an automated bandwidth measurement. And you can use this technique on other RF components to validate their specifications. For more information, contact us at tech.com.